morning, everybody. You know, at the beginning of the school year, most teachers make a name tag for the students in class. The teacher does that to help everyone in the class learn everyone else's name. You know, I once heard it said that the sweetest sound to anyone is the sound of their own name. I think that's true in a lot of ways, except when your mom calls you and uses your middle name. But really, it doesn't it make you feel good when someone remembers your name? I think it's great. You know, I want to tell you something that's really important. God knows your name. Names are important to God. In fact, I can think of several times in the Bible when God called someone by name. Think about it. Um, in Exodus, God called to Moses from within a burning bush. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus called Zacchaeus' name, telling him to come down from that tree. God called Paul by his given name, Saul, before Saul became a believer in God. And then when, when Saul began to believe, God gave him a new name, Paul. One of my favorite times in the Bible is when God called a boy named Samuel by name. You see, Samuel's mother, whose name was Hannah, wanted a son more than anything. She prayed and prayed and asked God to give her a son. Hannah promised God that if God would give her a son, she would give him back to the Lord to serve him all the days of his life. God gave Hannah the son she asked for, and she kept her promise to God. You see, when the boy was old enough, she took him to the temple of God and presented him to Eli, who was the priest. So Samuel served in the temple of God under Eli. Now, this story is actually really neat. One night, Samuel was sleeping, and he heard someone call his name. He got up, and he ran to Eli, and he said, Here I am, for you called me. And Eli said to him, probably rubbing his eyes because he was asleep, I didn't call you. Samuel, go back to bed. So, Samuel went back to bed, again, probably scratching his head a little bit. Then Samuel heard the voice of the Lord calling again, but he didn't know it was God. He heard his name, Samuel, and he jumped out of bed and went to Eli. And he said, here I am, for you called me. I didn't call you. Go back to bed, Eli answered him a second time. Well, a third time, God called to Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and he said, here I am, for you called me. And finally, Eli realized that Samuel was hearing the voice of God. It was God who was calling to Samuel by name. He told Samuel, go and lie down. And if God talks to you again, say, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Well, Samuel went back to bed and sure enough, again, he heard the voice of God calling, Samuel, Samuel. This time, Samuel answered as Eli had told him, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. You know, some people think that God only calls out to grown-ups. But Samuel was just a young boy when God called him. God knows your name. Just as God knew the name of Samuel, and God still calls boys and girls alike, saying, Come, follow me. So listen for God's call. And I hope that when you hear God's voice, you'll answer just like Samuel did. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Here I am. Tell you what, let's pray about that. Okay, ready, set, pray. Dear God, thank you so much for your voice. Thank you, God, for letting us know your name so that we can call out to you. And thank you so much, God, for knowing our name. Help us to hear you when you call out to us and give us the courage to say, Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Here I am. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for coming, everyone.